all right guys welcome back here again on hogwarts legacy for this video we actually have a brand new update here coming from chandler woods over on twitter and we actually got the patch notes for this update so he said um xbox series x and pc hogwarts legacy players expect a patch today to fix bugs and performance unfortunately the ps5 patch needs to be pushed back by a few days this includes the fix for the collector's edition trophy we are targeting later this week thank you for your patience so it seems like we've actually gotten a brand new update for this game to fix some bugs and performances especially there on pc I've seen a lot of complaints from my friends and from you guys, especially um, talking about how the PC stutters a lot, frame issues, bugs and performance issues. So yes, we finally gotten a fix for that. So let's have a look at these patch notes over here. So developer note, this patch addresses overall gameplay and performance and stability as well as online connection improvements. Online issues, a uh, fixed issue with achievements data being properly pushed to Wisdom World Portal after linking um, Owl Mail, fixed an issue with an Owl Mail not properly triggering sequential missions. World events, fixed rare crash around certain locations where in-game world events spawning. NPC fixes, fixed a rare crash when respawning NPCs in the world, fixed cr uh, a crash with some NPC schedules. Uh, character fixes fixed issues with flickering occurring with a transparent head while hair is still present uh, which is very very strange here are some ui updates um updated localization text for additional content items added build version for the first time eu l a fixed rare occurrence of mission descriptions not being displayed correctly um cinematics uh corrected vfx presentation of robe transformations Fixed a stability issue when skipping cutscenes. Fixed a crash when playing cutscenes and cinematics. Um, save game issues. Fixed error of rewriting last autosave slots. Fixed an issue when restarting from the last save around not being able to talk to a vendor after initial conversation. Resolving the following reported issues. And you guys can, um, I'll, I'll link this down below and you guys can check these out. So over here. Um, performance and stability. Here we go. Improved performance on fidelity mode. Fixed rare crash around hovering over the map. Fixed issue with wind causing distortion and stretching of world assets. Fixed a rare occurrence with material swapping. Fixed a rare crash with map assets state. Fixed rare a crash occurring with in-game world events. Fixed a memory leak with global license system. Um, XSX performance and stability improved crash collecting uh, uh improved crash collection to help chase rare crashes um and here we have uh, pc slash steam epic um fixes over here um fixed audio issues missing or not properly playing controllers switched pro controller supported updates upscalers um enable frame and generation enable frame generation while dlss is disabled anti-aliasing and screen resolution settings disabled when using dlss and not super resolution ray tracing fixed issue with rtao looking worse than ssao adjusting default settings to medium quality now ray tracing isn't really usable in this game at the moment so that's not really an issue here um performance and stability shader type compilation optimization shader compilation performances updates and functionality enhancements fixed a crash affecting text-to-speech usability Resolved issue with world assets abruptly being stretched, which resolves the following reported issues. You guys can check that out here. Resolved an issue with NVIDIA DG, uh, GPUs having lower frame rates compared to AMD. And DirectX version 12. Please note DirectX, uh, DirectX version 12 is required to run Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Uh, we do not suggest attempting workarounds to run this game with DirectX version 11, as this can cause stability issues when launching the game and the player experience. And that is pretty much it for this patch. Now I have went ahead and tried it myself. I don't really see too much of a difference in mine. My game was actually running kind of smooth. So it's been okay for me. And some people have um, also stated that the games run worse now on PC, which is very, very strange. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and see how you feel about that and that is pretty much it we've got some pretty decent updates here hopefully this works for you guys hopefully it does actually fix and hopefully we get some more updates and news and dlcs and future updates for the game coming up uh, in the coming days or weeks or months and uh, i'll keep you guys updated thank you so much and i'll see you all on the next one